<laughs> yes, moving on to the next story, Sean Kuti calls out Nigerian artists. Yes, son of Afrobeat legend Sean Kuti has called out Nigerian artists who are using his father, Fela Anikula Kuti, as an excuse to live their lives waywardly. He made this known during an Instagram live chat with music executive Ubi Franklin when he was asked his opinion on artists who claim to be inspired by his father. Sean Kuti had all of this to say. You know, so uh, I see our art as something that actually divides because it does not create solidarity. You know, it, it, it alienates us from the people. You know, I'm rich, you're poor, I can take your girl. Your girl likes more than you, uh, he, you know, and things like that. You know, I think if people love you as an artist, you know, it is mm. kind of dangerous. And I think too egotistical for you to take down the legacy your father left behind and looking at the entertainment industry and looking at what a lot of artists are doing like those that actually do you think that a lot of these guys that are picking a few things from fella when they i have interviews say who inspired me they say fella inspired me do you think a lot of them are actually inspired by fella or they just want to, to, to tie their inspiration to somebody that is legendary like your father no, I think a lot of them grew up in Christian and Muslim homes and need Fela as an excuse to smoke and chase girls. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, late Afrobeat legend Fela Anikula Kukuti has continued to be a focal point in Nigerian music in discussion for his music legacy and freedom fighting. So yeah. what do you think about what Sean Kuti said? 100% correct. You know, I <laughs> remember seeing this very old video. It was, um, I think it was he called Nigerians Got Talent or something. Dede was one of the <laughs> judges. And then this guy came on stage with um, a pants, <laughs> a white <laughs> pants. And then he started performing for last song. Q and then Dede Q was like, hey, stop there. Q in Bonaboy there too. OK. <laughs> Bonaboy did that at the shrine. At the shrine. <laughs> and that was why he stopped, you know, the they truth And I, I love what Dede said. He said, Fela never went on stage with pants. You know, there's a difference between white underwear and costume. Do you understand? It's just like when Beyonce will wear like a bodysuit, then you now go and wear swimsuit and you walk. Like, it's not the same thing, honey. Mm -hmm. One is a costume and one is the real thing. So I completely agree with him. A lot of people have used Fela and they don't use his musical legacy as a standpoint. They use his lifestyle, lifestyle. how he was with ladies, how he was with drugs, how he was. But you could see that there were repercussions for these things. Nobody's a perfect person. Yeah. It's just like the R. Kelly situation saying that, oh, because, you know, he also molested Most people. people so uh, it's, it's, it's an opportunity to do this. The same but you can you say yes he's a music legend yes he is but did he have some behaviors that maybe he shouldn't have as a human being yes yeah. so show is 100 percent right to me spot on actually and i mean amanda said it all because <laughs> when i saw that, when i saw that video i was just laughing i was like cruise but true sir that's, so, that's so it who do you think show is actually referring to who are the artists um, all what? of them that say that they <laughs> like inspired them like, that into what like who do you think who do you OG? think OG? Uh, jay-z what? Jay have you, have you Jay-Z has sampled Fela a lot of times. So who do wow. you think? Oh, OK. We'll, we'll just keep it at Jay-Z then. <laughs> wow. If you say Jay-Z, we'll just keep it there, OK? okay. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we can take on entertainment news today.